What's happening, Forum? Welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red. Hey, that's not my intro. Copyright, man. Copyright. Yeah. Uh, today we're going to be taking most of the water routes that are in this region. Just Kanto doesn't really have too much water, unlike other annoying regions. Um, this is why I actually do like Kanto. It doesn't have that much water, because water routes tend to be a very annoying. Like this. Yeah, just generic water Pokemons. And I hate them. It's a Sea King F, yeah! And you saw correctly, I actually took that thing down with Tackle, believe it or not. Um, I swam here from Cinnabar. Okay, so you swam here from Cinnabar with those clothes on, is that what you're trying to tell me? Alright, that that's nice of you, and I respect you for it, but that's kinda stupid. And that girl had another Sea King, yes, there are a lot of Sea Kings here, I'll tell you that much. Um, I don't think I even have a Repel up, to be honest, but I just can't remember. And no, I didn't, but good thing I didn't run into any Pokemon. There's mostly tentacles in here. And this guy, I guess I'll fight him too, but, um, check out my buff physique. That's really great. Let's see. Eh, you don't have that great of a physique. You look kind of like Michael Phelps, but, you know, he doesn't really, he's not really that great. Speaking of these swimmers, just a curious fact. I don't know if this is true or not, but a friend of mine told me, like, we were just discussing random trivia, and like a friend, what?! Your boyfriend gave you big pearls. I'm sorry to interrupt my trail of thought, but that is just pretty funny. Okay, she is just making way too many subliminal references. So at level 42, Rai is trying to learn Thunder Wave. I'm actually going to teach him this because it could come in very handy uh, with catching legendary Pokemon later on. So... I'm just deleting Pin Missile for it. And now that we're done with that guy, I can actually continue with what I was trying to say before that girl interrupted me with her big pearls, and that sounded very wrong. Um, my friend was discussing with me the other day that swimmers actually shave, like they cut, they take all of their hair out, and it kind of makes them swim faster. I don't know if that's true or not, but yeah, it, it makes sense though. Anyway, this is the Seafoam Islands, it's just a mini dungeon kind of thing, we can't do too much right now. As you can see, the current is much too fast. Surf can't be used here. But yeah, if you guys know if this is true or not, please comment about it and tell me if it's true or not. Um, it's just a curious, trivial fact. I mean, a lot of swimmers are bald, if you notice, and I guess it makes sense. I mean, if you're bald, then hair kind of doesn't... Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, bald people swim faster. That's just my theory. Um, now that we're done with this, as you can see, there's not much you can do in Seafoam Islands right now, so I'm going to swim or fly to Fuchsia City and take care of a lot of trainers over there, because there's more rattle r more water routes. Um, I sounded kind of like, what is that thing? Schnitzel from Chowder. Rada, 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 rada. Yeah. Water. You're all warmed up and bald and everything. Uh, there's another swimmer trainer over here. Wait, slow down, you'll have a heart attack. Why would I do that? So you I can have a heart attack from just randomly stepping in front of you. Okay, swimmer Reese, you're a cool guy. Forget everything I said before about you, Reese. For not having a Sea King, I hereby dub thee as fake and gay. But of course, I gotta kill everyone's lines and everything, you know, like, my intro and everything, I don't know. Um, some more water over here, I'm gonna be avoiding some of the trainers, except for this guy, because he doesn't want to be avoided. I tried diving for Pokemon, but it was a no-go. It's a Sea King, F yeah! Alright, so, you... You wanted to die for Pokemon, right? Well, I'm sorry to tell you, but you're kind of in the wrong game, man. You know, you're the right generation, at least, but wrong game, man. Diving is for, like, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. This is Fire Red, Leaf, Green, so... If you want to dive, you're in the wrong generation, man. Yeah, so, technically speaking, you can do these routes that I'm doing right here, uh, before the Cinnabar Gym, or even before the Cinnabar Mansion, all of that. So, you know, it could be some extra training for you. I'm just going to switch some Pokemon around and, like, use a Repel because it ran out. But, yeah, if you need extra training for the gym, I would recommend you guys do this route here and also the Seafoam Islands. I mean, there's just kind of strong Pokemon, strong wild Pokemon in Seafoam Islands. There's not really too many trainers there. I don't think there's any trainers, to be honest, but... She's got a Sea King! The Goldie was killing the epicness of Sea King. It must die. And there we go. Look at that little blonde kid. He's so cute. But, continuing along with the water route, there's some synchronized swimmers here. Yeah, there's synchronized swimming. You know what, what I mean. You know, in the Olympics, they like... There's like four people together just swimming in synchronization. Yeah. 
that's that's exactly what they're doing, isn't it? I wonder if Pokeballs are waterproof, because they're like in the water right now, and if Pokeballs aren't waterproof, I honestly don't know how they do this, but yeah, let me take this one on, and then I'm going to do some synchronized swimming with them. Swimming's great. It's another Sea King! That's enough of you. And now I'm going to do some swimming, synchronized swimming with them. Yeah, and that's about it. I don't really want to fight any of them anymore. I'll do them off screen or whatever. They just have the same kinds of Pokemon. Sea Kings, Tentacruels, Tentacools, and just Goldines, and Staryus, and Starmies, and Horses, and Seedras. I, I just named pretty much every water Pokemon in the first generation, didn't I? Well, there's no Psyducks or Golducks in this route. I just noticed that, but who cares? I just had a crazy thought right now. What are what would this battle be like if it was like in real life? Would I be standing on my cloister and him just like yelling out commands from the water? I honestly don't know what that would be like. Like if you think of Pokemon with in real life scenarios, it would be pretty funny actually. Just me standing on a cloister and like that guy just giving yelling out commands from the water. I don't know. There was a trainer over there in the water. I'll take her on later on, like off screen or something. But this is the Seafoam Islands, and in this area, we can actually do things, like push boulders. Yeah, isn't that exciting, kids? Push boulders, it makes you strong. Uh, let's go ahead and push this one into the hole. Yeah, push rocks into holes. Very creative of you. Um, Repel ran out. There we go, I just sprayed another one. Uh, here's an ice heel. Great. There's actually another rock that you can push over here, so... Yeah, these pushing rocks is going to help you out later on, so I really recommend you guys do it. Then go ahead and fall through the holes. I mean, you can use ladders like normal people, but what's the fun of that? I mean, go falling through holes is so much better than just, like, using ladders like normal people. And I just got to say, in Heart Soul Silver, um, you can actually go up ladders. Like, it doesn't just black out when you walk into it. Like, the character literally goes up the ladder. So that's something really cool. I mean, it's a minor, it's a minor thing, but it's just these minor things that make the game look so awesome. Um, falling down some more holes, we can push this rock. It's a big boulder, but a Pokemon can push it. Yes, use your strength, Venusaur. Alright, do we really need to go through this whole dialogue every time you want to push the rock? Um, I found a revive. In the first generation, it's even worse. You actually have to go to the Pokemon and, like, click on his name and go to strength every single time you want to push a rock. That would suck. I used another repel. And now, heading down here, there's a couple more items. Oh, actually, I went the wrong... I went down the wrong ladder, up the wrong ladder. Um, you want to take the ladders going down mostly because, yeah, you're going to have to go down a lot in this place, in the Seafoam Islands. If you go up, you're just going back to where you started. Let's push this rock here. Use your strength powers. Alright. Push it into the hole and drop down. OMG, we're randomly on Cloister now. And that's just, yeah, the current is too strong, so it's just going to push you over here. Here's a sign. Danger, fast current. We don't know that, obviously, because we didn't just ride down it or anything. Um, there's an Ultra Ball over here, so you might want to purposely go into the current and get that. Now, going up this ladder, uh, there's one more boulder that we need to push somewhere around here. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is, the, this is a big uh, boulder puzzle here. Sprayed another Repel, but yeah, this is a pretty big puzzle. Uh, I just went ahead and skipped the strength just for time's sake. Actually, here, you might want to think for a second. What you have to do, first of all, is push this one into this hole. Then this one, move it over here, kind of, so that you have enough space to do this. Go around here, and there we go. And then drop down into the hole. And that is basically what you have to do, and that is going to get you access to that thing. That is an Articuno. But I'm going to leave him for another episode. I'm going to do a separate episode in which I fight all three of the legendary birds. Um, just because, but I'm just doing Seafoam Islands just to show off what you have to do here and everything. Now, there's another boulder that I didn't push somewhere, I just don't know where it is, and it gets you access to, like, a new area. So, yeah, here it is. Uh, go ahead and push this. Use strength powers. Come on. Move the boulder. And drop down through the hole, and you get access to this little area here. You can't really do too much here, but, yeah, I think there's... No, nah, there's nothing interesting here, to be honest, so... Now, uh, let me just go ahead and leave. Let's see if there's anything else to grab over here. You know, there might be hidden items, like, right in that little area, but I'm not even going to bother looking for them. So, heading up the stairs, or ladders, and here we go out of the Seafoam Islands. And that pretty much wraps up all of the water routes that we can do for now, so... Let's fly back to Cinnabar, and we'll be talking to Bill, because he wants us to ride a boat. 
because he's awesome. Alright, I just went and battled all the trainers that I skipped before, and we're back to go see Bill. Hey, you kept me waiting. Ready to set sail to One Island? Sure, let's go. You know, he's just kind of getting us around here. I don't even know how he's going to take us all the way to an island. I mean, whoa, he's got a boat. Bill, you just gained some major brownie points, man. Yeah, so we're going on a boat, ladies and gentlemen. See you guys next time.